hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so till now we have successfully completed the friend functionalities that is the send friend request cancel friend request and accept friend request functionalities now what we gonna do now so the next thing which we will be doing is uh, when two person become friend with each other that is let's say I have more than 10 friends or many friends then we have to display a friend list just like you guys see in Facebook and other social networking sites so we will work on the friend list in this video and also we will start work on messages from the upcoming we will uh, upcoming video tutorials and yeah first let's complete this then we will talk about further that what we will implement in this cool social networking site uh, web i mean the app which we are developing so go to the android studio and first we need to create a new activity for displaying a friend list so click here new activity empty activity and let's call this activity as friends activity click finish so our activity is launched successfully now come to the activity friend.xml file go to text and first of all change this uh, constant layout to a relative layout and now the next thing is uh, we need a we need to set a background for this activity so let's do that first so we can say background and this is this is the color for this will be the color profile okay, which is the black color which we specifies in the colors so yeah the next thing will be a text view so let's add a text view here so drag and drop this text view here and mac i mean the width should be match parent and hide wrap content and now the next thing will be to do some changes here okay so come here and the id for this text view will be all underscore friends and here we need to add a color so the color for this the text color for this will be at the red android color background light and the text for this will be friends or you can call it whatever you want to name it that is friend list or friends whatever okay so here below we will display all the friends so yeah that's it and now the next thing is let's give it some text size so here we can set text and the text size should be 25 sp and the text style should be bold and the text alignment should be at the center so we can say center so yeah that's it and now what we need next is to drag and drop a recycler view so from here what we're gonna do we can simply write recycle and you can see this drag and drop this and this is our recycler view so yeah that's it now comes here and first let give it id so the id for this will be we can call it as friend underscore lists friend list okay so this is our friend list where we will display the friends and margin the layout margin from our site will be layout margin from our site will be 15 dp so this is the from all the side and now so yeah that's it and now we have assigned ids to this now go to the friends activity and let's initialize these uh, fields here so what we're gonna do here we can say private so we need the recycler view just okay the other one is just the text which is a friend so we don't need it here so we will say private recycler view and we will call it as my friend list and then inside the onCreate method 
we can say my friend list equals to recycler view find view by id or dot id dot and the id for this is uh, friend list so we can say friend list and here we need to set a linear layout manager for the recycler view i mean for the friend list so for the time saving we will copy the code from the main activity which we wrote already in the previous tutorial so go to the main activity or and on our main activity here when we set for the post list when we display the post okay so here we already set a linear layout manager okay so you can simply copy this uh, post list dot set has fixed size and then the linear layout manager and then up to here for slave dot set linear layout manager and this one okay so copy this and now close this and now here we will paste it below this uh, my friend list so paste that code here and remove this post list and instead of that we have the my friend list so you can see that and instead of post list my friend list so yeah that's it now what we're gonna do uh, we are going to as you know that we will display the all the friends using the firebase uh, the firebase recycler adapter and already when two person become friends then you then you know that one is the sender id one the receiver id and then the debt that is on which that two person become friend with each other okay so i explained all these things in the previous tutorial okay so now we have this friends node so just like we did for the users node uh, when we were displaying or searching for the new friend the same we will do here but this time the firebase query will be only for the friends that is if two person are friend then we will display that person in the friend list or you can say on the friends activity so we will query the friends node now and we will search that is if the two person are friend with each other then we will display that person in the friend list so for that what we're gonna do we need a module class first and then a static class here uh, in on our friends activity so first let's create a module class so come here click new and now java class so let's create a class for that first and we will call that class as uh, friend friends click ok so this is our module class and all we gonna do is display the uh, to retrieve the date from the firebase database that is on which that the two person become friend with each other so we will do that uh, step by step so first we are going to create this friend module class so here i will simply write public string and then the date and you know that it needs a empty constructor or you can say constructor with no arguments or you can say the default constructor so for that i will simply copy that and then i will put this braces so this is our default constructor and now a constructor with parameters so click here on generate constructor with this one parameter which is that and make sure to use the same name which is here inside the database okay which is that so yeah that's it so make sure to use the same name now the next thing is to set a setter and getter for the debt so we can say getter and setter for the debt okay so you can see that public string get that and set that so yeah that's it this is our module class now the next thing is to create a static class which is basically our holder class just like we did for the post when we were displaying all the posts so go to the friends activity and first of all uh, after this on create method we are going to create a static class so we can say public class static class okay and we can call this as view friends view holder friends view and it should extend the recycler view so it is extends recycler view dot view holder 
and now inside this it needs a constructor so we can say generate constructor and you can see that the constructor is created successfully okay and now here we can say view and let's call it as m view and then inside this we can say m view equals to item view so i think this is enough for this video and in the next video we will continue it from here so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now